big, big, important win for not just West Ham, but especially Lopetegui, who was under big pressure. I mean, it's, listen, that, that win probably saved his job. I don't think he was going to get sacked if we lost. I really don't. No, but I think it adds so much pressure. On the, it, this win now relieves a little bit of that pressure. Look, it's still under pressure, but we're coming into the Forest game, which ain't going to be easy in Everton afterwards. You know, this win is a big, big win. I'm telling you, uh, listen, although the win's a big, big win, it was tight. It was, oh, there's a mouse. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, I'll see that. Uh, <laughs> Scott, sort it out, mate. Uh, sort it out, um, Scott. <laughs> uh, yeah, although it, although it was uh, it, 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 it was a win, it, you know, it was a win that weren't, I, I weren't that convinced by it. You know, the, the end was controversial. The starting lineup, up for me, that's the reason why there's still got to be questions over the man. Yeah, of course, mate. That's, that's the thing, you know, like I said, when, uh, when we was on the really thing, you know, we're, we're sitting there and it was two poor teams. We were the poor side in the first half, Man United were the poor side in the second half. And the, the start in 11 is really, really questionable. You know, we've, we were discussing the other night, and I think we touched on it in a preview with Pakatar playing wide left. He starts to there wide left. You know, Pakatar yeah. hasn't had a decent game in the 10 for a while. Soler comes into the midfield and normally does okay, and he plays him out there. Why, you know, why do you think he started? I mean, the only the only change I, I agreed with today was Ariola coming yeah, out and Fabianski yeah. coming in. I called for that and, it, it, you know, he done it. Why do you think he started Soler, you're saying? Why do yeah, you think he started no, Yeah, why did you think he started Soler? Listen, I think he likes Soler. He's worked with Soler in Spain. He knows him, trusts him. I think maybe Soler offers a little bit more defensive stability down the left-hand side. So he probably fought up against potentially, was it Rashford on the right? Um you know, it's going to offer a little bit more stability, but it was so just static. And and that was our play. Like, off the ball, I thought we were very, very poor in the first half. Off the ball, no movement, no one overlapping. Yeah. Yeah. None yeah. of that. So you pass and stand still. Yeah. We, we, are, you, are you looking at this? Someone's yeah. kicking off over there. Good. The thing is, right, it, it's, it's, um, we, we, we said this before, like, you know, when, we, when you're going to play, try and be a bit more position-based and try and play across the back. You know, you're, you've got to have movement. And we're playing across the back and there's still no movement. There was no movement in that midfield in that first half whatsoever. You know, and it was a big, big call by the gaffer at half time. Big call. And he's not a But this is it. He can't keep relying on his substitutions. His substitutions, I've always given credit for. Brilliant that he can change the game like that. But he can't keep relying on that. He has to get it right in, during the starting line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I, I, I mean, I said, I, listen, I'm not a manager earning 30, 40, 50,000 pounds a week. And I said at the start of it that some of it has to start. I mean, in terms of the game, you look at the way Man United play, they leave a lot of space in behind. Some of it was getting himself, um, you know, when he came on, he was causing all sorts of trouble. He had the low on the low on toast, you know. So why the manager can't see the fact that he needs to start these games, up, you know, up, I think that's giving too much respect to Man United. And I think it's a Man United that's on the road. That's, that's what worries me. That's what worries me. And I know that people are going to turn around and go, oh, you know, don't try and be negative because we won. Don't try and be negative um, because, you know, it's a big three points. Yeah, it is big three points. But I'm going to say this now. I'm still not confident that he picks the right team at Forest next week. No. That's, that's, that's what yeah, I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if Somerville was on the bench. Do you know what I mean? And it was just, it was back to business as usual. But uh, this is a chance for him to show that, he, you know, he's learning. And today, no excuse. He saw how that team performed. He saw how that team performed in the second half. Mm -hmm. I know you've got to look at the opposition as well and try to think about it. At the same time, put the best team out. Put the best team on the pitch. That's what he's got to do. But the, Figure thing is, the thing is, barring Rodriguez, you know, I thought that was one of the best games Rodriguez has ever in the West Ham show. I thought they was both good, Alvarez and Rodriguez, yeah, yeah. to be honest with yeah. you. The middle was, was okay. But it was the, it was the substitutions that gave us the balance in that side. You know, it balanced out that midfield. We had more. Of, we, we we all said it. Well, I said it. I, I said it down at half time. You know, you sit there and look at the subs you brought on. You've lost the creativity completely. That was you know, you had, and that was the problem. But we looked more solid. You know, we took the game to Manchester United. You know, you had Anana falling down on the floor and rolling around for about five minutes to, yeah. and then getting up, bouncing around like yeah. the same ball. Yeah. You know, typical time wasting to try and get the minutes added on at the end. And, um, I think, I think he saw, and, oh, that sounds familiar. Uh, I think he saw the, the fragility of their fullbacks, right? Yeah, yeah. And he's decided, you know, we're going to give up any sort of creativity in the middle and we're just going to go down the wings. Yeah, solidify the midfield and then, and then get down the wings. Yeah. It's right. It's it, was a, it was a correct decision. It was the correct decision to make when he'd done that. But, you should be doing that from the start. I mean, we, I spoke to Flex. Yeah, they, they meet the bar. 
I, I don't think they was in, as in control as they thought no, in the first they, half. They were, mate. First, first I half we... I, I don't... I the, we the problem is... I say, is I, we weren't good, we, but I don't think they was as good as, the, as, as they no, think. We, we they kept were. giving the ball away we cheaply. We was like, so, so many misplaced passes in the first half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I see that Alvarez, Paqueta, like just... just pa pa like we've, Antonio. We've got to talk about Paqueta. <laughs> we've got to talk about him. Look, he's got a big, obviously a big, you know, case hanging over his head. Yeah. Um, he plays him week in, week out. We see Kuda start kicking the shit out of people last week because he's frustrated. Um, we expect I expected him to be out on the left today when I see that starting yeah, yeah, lineup, same, but he wasn't. Um, Solia has come on there before, but Pakatar, I'm sorry, and he's been a massive player for us. And I know lo loads of people like him. I loved him. I absolutely loved him. But giving the ball away cheaply like he does today. I mean, some of the passes he was making today was, was, was simple five-yard passes. It was the type of passes that Suchek should have been giving away. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, honestly, and when, when Kudus is back, the, per the player that makes way for Kudus is not Somerville. No. It's Paqueta. Yeah. And, pa and Kudus, he better not play him back on that left. Look, this is the thing. I think, I think, I think Paqueta needs to be taken out of the side for a bit. You know, he needs to get his head I said this. I think it's for his own good. Yeah. Maybe place, maybe place Soler in the ten. Yeah, and, and that's what you know. That's what I was saying in the preview. You know, putting Soler in that number ten role. You know, put, giving Pakatar a bit more yeah. luxury playing out the left instead of playing it middle. But you know, he just he just looks like he needs he needs to be taken out of the limelight. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. hundred you know. percent. You know, but it's one of them ones. It's, it's six or one half a dozen the other. Yeah. Do you take him out of the limelight? Give him four or five games rest. Get, let him get his head straight. It could be the last and of his career. Well, that's that's not our problem. No, no. The West Ham's not. West Ham's main priority is to make sure we're picking up wins. What's and it? if he is not contributing to that, then he's got to come yeah. out, whether he's going to have a few more games left no, or not. No player is bigger than the club and bigger than the team. Yeah, yeah. it's a team game. Big, big, and if, big, if, if part of your team's not working, yeah. you've got to change it. Because if he does get banned, it's not our fault. It's no. his fault. Yep. Yeah, you yeah, know. Totally. So at the end of the day, we have got to do what's best for West Ham. And I, I truly think, yeah, taking him out because. He's been poor all season. Like he's usually the player that you look to make something happen, yeah, yeah. and he, he just hasn't been really. It's very drips and drabs. And yeah, yeah, so, so yeah, I thought Aaron Wan-Bissaka was excellent today. He showed them why. Do you know what? I, I was just saying this as well. It's very ironic that their right back misses an open. Goal. I mean, that was a fucking. That was one of the most shocking misses I think I've ever seen. I remember seeing one back in the nineties with yeah. Steve Stone. I yeah, remember yeah, Steve yeah. Stone yeah, missing one, one yeah. right? And I didn't think I'd ever see a more shocking miss than that. That, right? Because he'd gone past the goalkeeper. I was looking at it. I was looking at it straight down the line, right? As he's gone past the goalkeeper, the Man United fans started cheering. Yeah. 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 It's like you would. Yeah. He, all he had to do was roll it. Yeah. Why he's trying to lace it in the top corner, I don't know. <laughs> and he's got it completely he wrong. He thought, oh yeah, this is going to be special. I'm going to smash it in. And so, yeah, Fabianski's lost his head. He had a good game, Fabianski, yeah. to be fair. But that in that moment, that was just a harebrain bozo moment. He's yeah, it just rushed it, it, it's, just, it's just worrying that a couple of times in the first half how easy we were to get through. And, you know, that's been a big problem with ours. To, uh, but to be but fair, that was the that, yeah, to be fair, that wasn't with our first choice. Back, uh, center pairing, right? We had yeah. we had Mavropanos yeah. instead of Tadebo, who I think had a bit of a knock in training. Yeah, you see, you see when his socks started dropping down, I think his right calf was taped up, so I think right. that's why he didn't start. Yeah. yeah, so surprising that he was able to come on and play forty-five. I'm glad because and played he very well. Yeah, when he came on. yeah, very well. that's what yeah, I'm right. saying. Like he didn't have he, look, he had a bit of a mirror in the second half against Spurs. I think a lot of people have used that against him. It happens. He, he he did that own goal when he lost his head. He was gone for the rest of the game mentally. So, but now he's he's come back. And he's uh, the, the thing about him is, and I'm going to say this now, he's got all the attributes for me. Yeah, when you look that. at him, everything's there. He's yeah. just got to get that. You know, he's got to get implemented in that. I, I was surprised when Panos come off, but I didn't think he'd done much wrong. No, no, everyone honest. Same no, <laughs> we we were all over the place at the back, but that weren't just his fault. We're still no. we still got we're still conceding a lot of chances. Yeah. I think the problem is with our midfield is you've got Alvarez and Rodriguez, two defensive players, but in terms of control, there's not much control in that midfield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's, they're, they're great at just being defenders, yeah, yeah, but in yeah. terms of control in midfield, we, we didn't have that. And I thought that was a big part of the, the problems that we faced. Yeah. They was able to run through us. But yeah, I, I thought their goal, again, poor defending. What, we've seen a few times we let players have free headers. We, we switched off. You know, we, we, we got ourselves in front and we dominated, realistically, we dominated a lot of that second, the opening 
of the second half. Do you know what? Do you know what I would say about that, right? And I and I, and I made this um, quite clear in the post-match pint Spurs is that we don't never sustain attacking pressure. No. Yeah. We never sort of sustain attack. Today, I thought we did a little yeah. bit more. Yeah. You know, we, we we had them under the cosh and we kept them going and going and going and eventually, we got the goal. Yeah, and, and that was the thing. That's what worries you. The fact that it took us so long while we did have them under the cosh to get the goal. You know, you're sitting there thinking this is going to come and bite us in the backside because we were still open on the counter. Yeah. But, you know, we rode it out and, and we took out the fully deserved that. I think the second the way, the way we come out of the second half, we deserve to go in front of us. You know, yeah. and it was Danny Ings inspired substitutions by the gaffer. Danny Ings with his missed shot that goes but straight to some of them. He's, but he's another player who you just wonder about that why he doesn't get more opportunities because Ings. Ings, yeah. yeah. Because he, he he you know saved us, you know, in that Fulham game. Brilliant. Last minute equaliser. Yeah. Fantastic. You think right, he can kick yeah. on now and get some confidence. I've got to say this. See him again. I've got to say this. That there's there's not a lot of difference between him and David Moyes in terms of like the players he's used. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, he, he seems to have his favourites. There seems to be no way in for other players. You know, yeah. Danny Ings is one of them. And uh, you know, look, I thought Antonio had a good game today. Yeah, he did. I thought he had a right. decent game today. Yeah. I don't think he done brilliant, but I don't think he was he was he was the worst player he, by he a long shot. He still wants to be on the wing. <laughs> He's yeah, still yeah. obsessed about being on the wing, and I think that. But I think that's why he brought Ings in because he was seeing that Somerville was getting beyond um, the defenders, and he was getting there's behind nothing, the defenders. The and there's nothing, you know. Sometimes you, you you see it a lot of times. Bowen on the other side as well was getting the better yeah, of the left yeah, back, yeah. and he was sliding that ball across. And sometimes you just need that centre forward who's coming across the defenders just to, you know, look like yeah. he did a, a little bit at, at Fulham, I guess. Yeah. Um, to, just to come across the defenders and, and slip it in. He's, he, I would, he, I would he's the most Ince. natural. Yeah. What, would, what did you just I, say? I said I would go with Ince. What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? What? What do you think I said? <laughs> oh, right, because I said I would go with Ince. No, I would. No, and then, I would jump over there. But, no, but, but, but the thing is, is I've said this, that we've, we've brought in Fulcrew, right? Yeah. So Fulcrew was the guy we chose to sign. So clearly we had an idea of Fulcrew's going to suit how we want to play mm -hmm. because we've spent Eventually. over 20 million, million on him, right? Yeah, yeah. So if that's the plan, well, Ings is not too dissimilar from uh, Fulcrew. They're very similar types yeah, of strikers. Yeah, but size of Fulcrew, Fulcrew's got a lot of shape about him. Ings is quite small, you know. Uh, yeah, but I wouldn't say, yeah, but I, he's I not what, diminutive. Do you know what I mean? I but in terms of a natural finisher, yeah. there is no better at the club than Danny Ings. Yeah. Like, he's proven... Look, I know he ain't done that well for us. No. But it's proven, time and time in his career, finishing-wise, he's up there. Yeah, yeah, look, and he, he's won us a penalty. Like, look, they're not having it. And I've had rows with Man United fans. It's, I think it's soft, listen, but I oh, think it's listen, a thing. Right. That referee today, right, and Man United fans going to be crying and crying all the way back to Surrey about um, that weren't a penalty, that weren't a penalty. There was a lot of decisions today that they got away with. One of their players was booked late on in the second half. That should have been a red card. He had two fouls previous to that, but it should have been carded for both. Yeah. Players, right? The referee didn't give us the decision. The you saw the blatant cheating in the referee when he sees the second ball on the pitch, goes to blow the whistle, realises Manchester United are on the attack and allows them to play on. Yeah. You know, I, that, that it, is, it's blatant. Yeah, that, I, that, that was, was shocking. I mean, there was a couple of decisions. The one where uh, Mavropanos put the tackle on and Ganacho. Gets, the one that was offside then gets booked. Then gets booked. He's offside. And then, you know and then they do exactly the same thing to Bowen. But I think... And nothing. And nothing, yeah. Exactly the same thing. About five minutes later, same thing happens to Bowen. He's offside. Puts the tackle in on him. Should have been booked. In fact, if it hadn't been booked, if it carried on, I think he should have been sent off because Bowen was yeah, through on goal. Exactly. Um, and didn't do that. But that one... Um, and this is why, right? This, this is why, for me, sometimes... I look at that and I think you're, 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 you're battling with the Premier League. Sure. Because that, I've never seen a more shocking decision than that. If Over that, and, and I know it's small and I know it didn't come to nothing, yeah? But a referee looking at a second ball on the pitch and allowing Man United to, to, to carry on when they're in attacking position, you know, he, he knew it was there. Exactly. Everyone knew it was there. The linesman knew it was there. The linesman could have alerted it to him. That is why I get so pissed off because that is never a rule. Yeah, you know, exactly. in, in the Premier League, I've never seen and, it. And how did none of their players get booked when they surrounded him for, for the, the VAR? For the VAR. And, but this is the thing. You During the VAR, yep. while he's reviewing it, the screen, and after the penalty is given, they're all round him. See, right, so how? Th this is the thing for me, right? The linesman tried to intervene and get him back, but you had four of their players standing behind him while he was looking at the monitor. Emerson was the only one of our players over there. 
to be fair, and again, I'm going to criticise Bowen a little bit, he should have gone over there and basically started telling him, yeah. you know, Noble would have done that. Noble would have gone over there and, and tried Noble to... Noble picked up... Who was yeah. it? Oh, oh this Fucking was hell. donkey's years ago. Yeah. Was it Fernandez, was it? No, no it, it was, was a defender. Lindelof? He, he, Lin, no, it wasn't Lindelof. No, it was a defender. But, but, Hena, 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 well, I can't but then, then also, Lens, the referee yeah. gives a penalty. Anana's out on the left, right wing, right? Put the keeper. He should be in his goal. It's been kept, what are you doing out there? You yeah. know, obviously, and then they're all surrounded him. Well, the best the referee's yeah. opportunity they to take the game by the scruff of the neck. Yeah. Boss, 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 card, card, card. Yeah. Leave me alone. I've made my decision. That's it. Yeah, he's going to change his mind. They, they booked Paqueta for delaying the restart, right? Wasting time. Yep. They've wasted so much time during that penalty. No one's got a single card. So they want to sit there and say they were robbed. They were robbed all they want. But, exactly. I'm sorry. Um, and I'm going to, and see, so I've criticised Bowen, right? And this is the thing. So I don't, the best thing he done, he took that penalty for some of him. Because he had an anana, anana in his face, trying to put him off. You know, he stepped up, said, look, I'll take it. He took the penalty and he spent yeah. it right in the box. Yeah, he knew some of had his goal of yep. the game. He got his goal. So look, but that's, 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 that's captain. Do you yeah. know what I mean? That's, that's what I'm saying. He took so, control of the situation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This, is what, this, this, yeah. this is what I'm saying. Uh, this is what I said on Friday Night Pine. Um, he's got room to improve yeah. as a captain, and and he can it, uh, grow into the role. He has he has those little bit of moments like that's there shows you okay yeah, yeah, yeah. he's got potential. He can grow into the role, and hopefully he does continue to. Um, but yeah, like you know, overall, I'm just happy with I'm happy with the win, um, oh, and I'm happy that we did show a good. We didn't yeah. just shit out like we showed a good second half performance yeah. when we got them players in. But it shows that if we do get it right in terms of starting lineup. We can we can play good, some good stuff, mate. I'm telling you now, right? right? I'm going to tell you now. Tabibo playing regularly, yeah. A decent midfield. I still don't know who that decent midfield is. I know <laughs> that I imagine that decent midfield is him. I thought Sujic played all right today. Yeah, he come, um, on come on and done well. Some of you on that left. Kudus in that ten. Bowen on the right, and a fucking striker. Yeah. And I think we'll be flying. The thing is, I've always said, we'll I've always said Sujic would be effective off the bench. Anyway, yeah, the type yeah, of yeah. player that he's he is, right. yeah, very right. effective off the bench. I, honestly, I think. Going forward, Alvar is it's tough with I just Rodriguez and Alvarez together, they're too similar for me. I think you stick with one, probably Alvarez, and then play a Soler or, or big, if Paquette is gonna play, he plays next to him. Look at the start of the second half, Alvarez played more as a centre half. He sort of played yeah, yeah, That's yeah, what I'm yeah. saying. He, he's he so, tucked in, he's very went out right. Yeah. Wan Bissaka, we were sort of playing wing backs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was, that's it was, that's that's what I mean. So in terms of the balance, like you're gonna if you're gonna have Alvarez, you know he's gonna be sitting and holding, right? So you have someone that's got a little bit more going forward next to him in that. Well, not like Rodriguez, you know, because Rodriguez yeah. is going to sit home. Yeah, exactly. You know, and that's the thing. So yeah. you're not really getting much. So it has to be like a Soler or a Paqueta. Yeah. Again, mate, it's, it goes back to that. We need an identity and we're still not seeing it. You know, yeah. this is the thing. We're, we're too, start with this side, quickly change it. After, you know, that type of thing. We, yeah. we, we need an identity and we need to know a way forward. With the yeah. But, it's hard to say, isn't it? What our identity is, how we play. Like, how do West Ham play football? Like, what would you describe it? It's hard to describe it, really. Like, what we are. It's still poor at times. Yeah. Yeah, I've got to say that. It's still poor. Yeah. I'm not, as I said, I'm not confident. But it's a chance now. He gets the win under his belt against, a, a, you know, a, a big side. Listen, there was some battling... Um, there was some battling done at the end as well. Exactly. You know, it, we was under, we was under Kosh. And um, it's a good win. It's a good win. But he's got to follow it up against a, a good informed forest side and then we've got Everton here so yeah. two big games I, 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 I tell you what we did well at the end as, as someone on the van cam said to stick through that that 14 minute 12 minute added time yeah. do you so, know what so, I mean so no so it's the goal though isn't it yeah well, basically what it was because we scored so late we didn't kick off after the penalty until two minutes into added time yeah yeah so that's why it went yeah but the 12 minutes, minutes is is, is it's mental a, in no, itself no it's, no, it's a minimum minimum, of, minimum 12 of 12 minutes. yeah but it's mental in itself 12 minutes yeah but it, you had the Inanna injury you had um, yeah but tw back it's got 12 minutes yeah you had yeah, there was a lot there was, there was a, a lot of stuff yeah, but the, the problem, was no but the problem minutes. is most of them them stopped with the, the, the 12 minutes came from them wasting time exactly why should we add 12 minutes for them to get an equaliser because they've wasted time but it's, it's just the way it's the way they've set up the rules now. I say, yeah. yeah, it's bollocks. It's, it's, it, you know, you, you, you go You're back, rewarding you go back, them. 
Yeah, but you go back two, three, four yeah, but seasons then, ago. You, you, we, we were wasting time towards an end. But you, you remember, no, but we, you, you got to remember as well yeah. that twelve minutes. We could, we could have won from two one to five one winners in twelve minutes as well. So yeah, but yeah, but, yeah, but no, but it works more because we've got something to lose in that. Yeah, yeah, they've of course. Got, yeah, they're, yeah, 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 they've got nothing yeah, to lose. They're chasing the game. We're more is, on the back. It, foot. The thing is, though, Dan, if we were, if we were two one, two one down and we scored in the ninety second minute. Uh, under the second minute, we wouldn't be complaining about the 12 minutes added on. This is the thing. What do you mean? No, but, but this is the thing, Scott. What I'm saying is, because it's a penalty, they're delaying the penalty. They know there's a good chance of us scoring. Yeah. So all this wasted time, they're well, not... They're yeah. not... They're just, just they're, they're adding it on to the yeah. end. So yeah, they have yeah. a good amount of time yeah, to attack us. So, yeah, and but that's what I'm saying. It's all fair and good, well and good if they get punished for it because they're all on yellows going into that time. And yeah. they've got to be on their best behaviour. Um, but no, we'll no, see. No, it's no, good. It's, it's brought Lopetegui some, take some pressure off him. Look, they've said he's, they're going to review him at Christmas. I think that's that's a fair time to look and say, right, have we looked halfway through the season? Where are we at? But he needs yeah. to get some. Um, he needs to get some some consistency together. Yeah. And that, and comes, let's see. that comes yeah. with a very tough game at Forest, and then we've got Everton here. Yeah. So they're two. They're, you know, Forest are a good side at the moment. They're, you know, they're flying higher. Yeah. He's got to get. The, he's got to get it right. But there we go. Let's and let's. I was just saying. I just want to give him credit as well. He got that win without Kudus. We missed our best player. And Packets are, really. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So Yeah, so yeah. That, that's a huge boost. There we go. Three, three home wins on the spin against Manchester United. It's, Long yeah. may it continue. Long may it continue, yeah. Thank you very much for joining us on this edition of West Ham Fan TV's post match point. Go and check out all the fan cams that have just gone up. Um, we'll be back again tomorrow. Or it is tomorrow, Monday, isn't it? Monday. Monday, Monday, uh, with a breakdown. So there we go. Thank you very much. One thing left for us to say. Come on, Come you guys.